What is up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be reviewing Apple's new iPad Pro and help you decide if you should pick up this model or wait. Let's get started. So this is Apple's fourth generation of the iPad Pro, and the model we're looking at today is the 128 gigabyte 11 inch space gray version. Now this does come in a 12.9 inch option with a silver color, and you can bump up the storage all the way to one terabyte. Now this iPad is really exciting as it introduces some bumped up specs that can actually compete with most PCs today, or in some cases, even outperform it. Now Apple also introduced a very unique Magic Keyboard with a dedicated trackpad and a floating iPad design. This is going to give you that laptop feel with its ability to navigate with a trackpad or a mouse with iPad OS. In the box you get your iPad Pro, a USB-C charging cable, a USB-C power adapter, and the manual, paperwork, and Apple stickers. Taking a closer look around the iPad Pro, it has a very appealing design with flat metal edges, very much like the previous generation iPad Pro models and my personal favorite iPhone 4 and 5 models. On the back is the big change and that's the camera which is equipped now with a 12 megapixel wide camera and a new 10 megapixel ultra wide camera. Additionally, they've added a LiDAR scanner which is going to be amazing for augmented reality applications, games and features. You can record video up to 4K at 60 frames per second, and with the bumped specs, you can even edit and post those videos, which I'm really excited to try out on this iPad Pro. Moving to the front-facing True Depth camera, this is equipped with Face ID to unlock your iPad, make purchases, and log into various accounts. The video quality is up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. You get all the fun stuff as well, like portrait mode selfies and emojis, and FaceTime for video calls to friends or family. The display is virtually unchanged from the previous iPad Pro models, but still great with 120Hz ProMotion technology, ultra low reflective screen, improved color and brightness. And using this for over a week, I haven't noticed any issues when it comes to graphic design or using an Apple Pencil or anything like that. It works just fine. Tying into this, you have five studio quality microphones around this iPad and four speakers. This is great for both recording audio and the listening experience. Internally, the iPad Pro has been upgraded with Apple's A12Z Bionic chip, so you can expect fast and smooth performance whether you're just watching Netflix or creating and editing 4K videos. An 8-core graphics processor has also been added, meaning high graphic intensive games, applications, and tasks are going to run even better. When you combine the A12 chip with the 8-core graphics and the 6 gigabytes of RAM that comes standard, you're really going to have a computer, gaming console, and creative tool that's going to get you as close to using your tablet as a PC as possible. In terms of battery life, you can expect 9-10 to 10 hours of surfing the web or watching videos depending on the model you choose. The Wi-Fi model is going to give you the higher of the two numbers. If you do purchase the LTE model, you can expect the lower. Now this 11 inch model starts at $799 for the 128GB Wi-Fi model and you can go all the way up to $1299 for the 1TB model. The 12.9 inch starts at $999 for the 128 gigs and ranges up to $1499 for the 1 terabyte model. If you add in cellular, you're looking at an additional $150. As you would expect, Apple Pencil support, all the familiar apps, features, and abilities are still functional with the new iPad Pro. And even if you choose not to purchase that new Magic Keyboard, which is also an additional $299 to $349, you could still connect a Bluetooth trackpad, mouse, and keyboard to use your iPad Pro just like you would a normal laptop. Now with all this being said, I'm upgrading from the second generation iPad Pro, which is a dramatic upgrade for me. Now if you have the previous generation of iPad Pro, I wouldn't recommend this as an upgrade. Yes, you're getting the faster, more capable tablet with a better camera, but the differences aren't enough to justify the big price tag for most people. If that trackpad support was a big thing for you as well, most older iPads that have iOS 13.4 will also now support mouse and trackpad connectivity. 
So that is my review of the new iPad Pro. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I try to respond to every comment that I see. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and the bell notification button to be notified when I post new videos. We've got many more videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.